טנקים סורים בדרך אלינו. An Israeli intelligence outpost taken by Syrian commandos and a small platoon of IDF soldiers left to fight by themselves in an area conquered by thousands of Syrian tanks. These are the two main stories in the successful television series called Sh'at Neila in Hebrew, dubbed as Valley of Tears in English, currently airing on Israel's public channel and already sold abroad to HBO Max, where it premiered last week. Though some of the details have been changed, the stories themselves are real, and so is the feeling of despair felt by those who were there when they really happened. There were thousands of Syrian tanks, along with the cannons in the background, coming into our territory. We had only 150 tanks to stop them. Yankale Rotem was one of tens of thousands of soldiers rushed to the Golan Heights to stop the Syrian incursion. Just like the entire Israeli nation, still celebrating the great victory of the Six-Day War, he was sure it would be another easy battle, like the one he encountered as a young paratrooper six years earlier. There was great euphoria after the Six-Day War, with parades and albums. We felt we were the emperors of the world. As soon as they arrived at the battlefield, they realized this time it would be different. In 1967, they ran forward and no one seemed to stop them. But in 1973, every move was a life-threatening struggle for Yankale and his fellow soldiers. Their artillery was constantly firing at us. They controlled the Hermon Mountain at the time, so they could point their cannons towards us. There were times when we were all lying down in a ditch with nothing to protect us under heavy bombardment. It took nearly three weeks for the IDF to turn things around and finish the war on the winning side, despite the initial losses. The victory came mostly thanks to the young soldiers who took incredible risks. We got so close to their positions, we could hear them speaking Arabic between them. We were only 20 meters away from them. When the command came to open fire, we killed many of their guys. As the war ended, the Israeli society slowly, gradually returned to normal, even in the communities on the Golan Heights, close to the Syrian border. In spite of the Yom Kippur war, we live our life here, we try to live it as normal as possible. We feel we are doing good for us and good for the country. But for Yankele Rotem and his fellow paratroopers, the war continued, and for quite some time. After the war, we were stationed for eight months in an area called the Syrian Enclave, inside their territory. We had daily clashes with the Syrians during this time, terrible clashes. We lost more soldiers during this time, after the war, than in the war itself. 47 years have gone by, the world has changed, the wars have changed. But one thing has not changed. This is still a border of war. Peace is still a distant dream, the same as it was back in 1973. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.